snacks, snacks, and more snacks. Look at all those snacks. The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jennifer. Today I'm gonna talk to you about road trip snacks. Throughout the year, my family and I take many road trips. We like to drive to Utah, we like to drive to Disneyland, and I have definitely learned that snacks are one of the keys to a successful road trip. So today I'm gonna to share with you some of our favorite snacks that we like to have on the road. Now I try to follow the 80-20 rule when packing these snacks, so mostly healthy things and some not so healthy things that are kind of a treat. So for this trip, we're gonna be driving to Utah. We're looking at about 12 hours. So I need to pack breakfast, lunch, and several snacks and drinks. Our goal is to have all the food and drinks that we need with us so that we don't need to make so many stops. And we can get there sooner. So let me show you what we got. All right, I'm gonna start in the breakfast section. So for breakfast on the road, we love yogurt things, especially Go-Gurts, because those are easy. My husband really likes these protein yogurt drinks, and I'm gonna be trying these coconut milk yogurts. Okay, so these are sausage and cheese biscuit balls, and I'm gonna go ahead and make a video about these, so make sure you check that out if you wanna know how I make these. But these are great because I can keep these in the cooler and then pull them out right before breakfast and they're great room temperature. Although these, these do have gluten in them, you could use a gluten-free baking mix instead. So for breakfast we will have the yogurt, the breakfast balls, and some fruit. And now I'll show you what I packed for lunch. So, for lunch on the road, I picked up some of these Rubbermaid take-alongs, and these have two separate compartments. This package of three was under $3, so even if they get broken or damaged along the way, it's still a pretty good deal. And I have a separate video on how I made these as well, but basically, I like to make my own Lunchables for the kids, and I go ahead and get some thicker sliced turkey from the deli, so when you go to the deli, you just ask the workers there, can you please cut whatever lunch meat you prefer to about a quarter of an inch? And they can do that for you. So we have turkey and cheese and some crackers in a little separate um, foil muffin tin. And that kind of keeps the crackers from getting soggy. And then we have some grapes. So I have one for Lily, one for Jackson, and one for Kenzie. And then for my husband and I, I have some different options. And I'll go ahead and open these up for you. So for the adults, we have carrots, grapes, some turkey, salami, crackers, and these little um, guacamole um, containers. So I thought that would be a yummy lunch. And then for my husband, I have basically the same thing. I just went ahead and packed him some gluten-free crackers instead. So what I like about these is that everybody has their own individual um, lunch. So if, let's say, Mackenzie wants to have lunch earlier and the other kids aren't quite hungry, it's very easy to just pull out hers and hand it to her. And since it's in this container, it's, since it's in this container, it's almost like she has her own plate, which helps with the mess in the car. So there are the Lunchables, the homemade Lunchables. And then what I do with these is I go ahead and I just stick them right down in this little ice chest. Like that. And I will keep these in the front of the car with me so I can pull them out. And there's still room down there for drinks or anything else, ice packs, we can put right down in there. So there's lunch foods, and you saw breakfast foods, and now I will show you the snacks. And then back here 
um, all of these baby wipe containers. I'm going to show you I have a special um, plan for these and I'm trying out this time, but I'll show you that last. So for snack foods, I have some um, caramel corn rice cakes. These are really tasty and they only have 50 calories each. And then I picked up some veggie straws in the cheddar flavor, some veggie straws in the ranch flavor, and these are apple cinnamon straws. These are really tasty, but warning, these cinnamon apple ones are not gluten free. These ones are, but this one is not. So, so my husband can't eat those. And then I showed you this, we had some of these in our lunch packs, but these are little guacamole um, containers and they're each only 100 calories in each cup. This comes with four cups and this was about $3. And then we have some brownie bars, my kids love these. I've had, showed you these in a previous Costco haul. Um, these are like a fig bar, but instead of figs inside, it has dates and then a chocolate. Um, outside. And then I have some yummy trail mix. I went ahead and put these in little baggies for the kids and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these baggies. But for the kids trail mix, um, it has a mixture of some nuts and some candies. So I know they're going to love that. And then for Lily's, let's see, this one is, must be Lily's because I made sure to take out all of the almonds from her, her bag so that she wouldn't have any issues. I, would, you know, I don't want her to choke on almonds, so took out all the almonds for her just so that it's safer for her to have that. And then for mine, I have some dark chocolate covered walnuts in my trail mix. That is my favorite. And then my kids have had their eye on these for quite a long time, and I don't think I've ever given them these. Um, they look like they might be a little bit messy, but I thought they could try it. We have some Nutella to go, and then some apples of course, a yummy healthy snack. My husband requested these, and then for the kids, I have applesauce packages. And this is an assorted pack, some are apple banana, some are apple cinnamon, I think there's just plain apple in there as well. I have some fruit snacks. My kids love fruit snacks, but I kind of hold on to these as bribes. So, you know, for every couple hours that they're good in the car, they might get a fruit snack as a reward. And then I, of course, have my kombucha. This is my drink of choice instead of uh, soda or juice or anything like that. And then my husband's drink of choice, he really likes these um, Mountain Dew Black Label drinks, and it says it's a deeper, darker dew, which is kind of like a dark berry flavor. These are really good, but these have a lot of caffeine in them, so they're not gonna be for me, but for him, he's the one driving, and we're gonna be driving partly um, through the night, and so some caffeine will be good for him. And then he likes these blueberry uh, pomegranate coconut water Mountain Dew drinks. And then we have some regular coconut water as well. And obviously we have bottles of water, as we have bottles of water too, but those are in the freezer. So they'll be nice and cold and we're ready to drink them. So let me show you what my idea is with these guys. Now I found this idea on Pinterest and basically what it is, it's a little, um, it's a wipe container that we repurposed for like a treasure chest of snacks. And I like this idea because my older two kids are old enough now that they can start helping themselves. So if they need a snack, they can just reach into their little container and help themselves, which means that mommy doesn't have to do it all. So I'll show you. Um, I have in here, and these are all the same, so nobody can complain. Um, but in here we have some apple straws, and then here's the trail mix that I showed earlier, and then we have some applesauce, and a brownie bar, and a Nutella. So these snacks should last them at least the whole trip. And, I like to use as many of these reusable containers 
and snack pouches as possible so that I'm not using as many of the plastic bags. Although, if I do use the plastic bags, certainly these, I, I reuse these as well. And then right here I have a cloth reusable um, snack bag. And this you can actually um, just wash it out. And this one's a Velcro one. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. But basically, it's just like a little Ziploc bag, but it's a washable and reusable. So there we have some veggie straws in there. So I think the kids will love these little snack packs. I am slightly uh, concerned that they might try to gobble up all the things at once, but I guess if they do, that will be a learning experience for them. So, go. Be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite road trip snacks are, especially if you have kids with you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.